for a low, don't it? I think it's good enough. I think it's good. Sure? No, because if you go one higher, it's good. Yeah, it's... Oh, yeah, plenty. We'll keep this up. sets and push a ton of weights you know I'll do 20 over 20 sets for chest so put some blood in there now felt good it was light easy 12 reps They probably got second or third, but you couldn't see, couldn't see nothing. Competition, just uh, just under 13, I think. So it's all about gold. So what we're trying to really do is just stimulate the chest. Yeah, you know, start with an incline press. Really just try to get a contraction, which works the overall chest. Obviously we're targeting upper chest, but you're gonna hit more across with the incline bench. Okay, this is not a super high angle, so we're getting a little more of the fullness in the chest, we're trying to hit slightly the upper, and of course where it ties into the shoulder, so. You see 12 or 13 reps with this. I'll probably get about 10 reps this, this set, the final set. Anyways. 
kids. Come on, drive it up, drive it up, drive, 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 drive. Oh, yep, good. Yep. All right, let's go over to that ha hammer machine. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna wait for this stuff. Where's it? They took out two switch machines here. Yeah, I've seen that. Yes, okay. Three, two, three, and one. Push, 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 push. Take it out of my hand. He's lower than we are. And then, uh, Lindsay. Alright, so what we're doing here is a wide grip hammer machine, okay? Ideally, I would have liked to have gone and done presses on the Smith machine, but since it wasn't open, we're gonna go here. This is gonna give us a little stretch in the outer chest, and uh, really bring the contraction to the lower portion of the chest. So I look at it as kind of a decline, a decline fly almost type movement, but we're gonna focus on just 10 reps on every set here. Okay, so some exercise, I'm switching the reps, where I might be a little higher but we'll keep this one a little lower, just because it's more of a stretching exercise. So I like to alternate around. Every week it's different, something new. At this point, you know, with 13 weeks, I gotta get the most out of every workout since I'm home now, training for the competition, his first week I've had fully at home. And I'm up over 290 now. I weigh over 290 pounds. And I'm still eating in order to get a little fuller. And then next week after I guess pose at the West Coast Classic, I'm gonna start coming more for conditioning. And by eight weeks down, I'll be full tilt into getting in shape. Well, you never know where I'm gonna go. Tyler. You gotta stand near me. Compare hairs. Right? Big Trevor and his cameo appearance here. I'm gonna see you next week too, right? Look at the hair. He's got me beat this week. Right? It's all about the hair, I told you. Yes. One, two, three. Yep, good, yep, yep, got it, yep. Come on. Two. Five. Come on. Six. Seven. Let's go. Drive it. Get that ten. Come on, come on. Good. That, that was it right there. Good job. Alright, so we're gonna do the flat Smith machine press, which is really common for me to do. To be honest, this is the exercise I feel is the most beneficial for my chest and my structure. But I use the Smith machine just to avoid the injury, so I might go up to three plates a little over where I can do more weight, but I'm going to focus on really squeezing the chest. Okay, I got a lot of fullness in there, not a lot of blood. Okay, we're going to squeeze out some reps and now uh, keep everything around 10 reps. How'd that look? Good? Yeah. Easy. Yeah, it was just warm up, but it was stretching everything. I could feel it stretch. A lot of blood in there, so it, a lot of those fibers are tight. My appetite's yeah. really good, better than ever right now. The cardio though, because I never really start doing right. cardio this far. I'm eating six meals and uh, you know using a little protein around the training for muscle tech, and then uh, I'm doing cardio in the morning and at night 
already. So I do 30 minutes of stairs in the morning and then I do 15 minutes at night after I train. So the only reason I do that, like I mentioned, I'm not trying to necessarily lean out, but I'm trying to stimulate my appetite so I can actually eat the calories I need to eat to maintain the fullness. And then once I hold that fullness now for a few weeks, I can start bringing my weight down and keep that fullness but strip the body fat off. My body will be used to it, it won't be a shock with all that cardio, you know. I'm gonna up the cardio as I go and the calories climb. I'll go to seven meals. So it's all mapped out. I got the whole game plan for this year pretty much intact. The training so far on point, better than the last two years. This at this starting point, no injuries, no aches, no pains. Gotta keep it that way, though. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do a inclined dumbbell fly. Now, last week I do chest every week, usually about every six days. And I did flat dumbbell flies. So now what we're doing is we're focusing on um, a little more, like I said, the upper chest, um, especially the outer in the shoulder region to really try to get that contraction. What I'll try to do is keep the dumbbells straight out and try to actually bring them not at an angle, but you know, kind of flat together. Squeeze about a 10, 10 repetitions on this. I'll go up pretty heavy for a fly movement. And uh, this will really finish off the chest for our last power, heavy type movement. And then maybe just I'll do more of a pumping exercise like a cable fly or a um, pack deck I'll to kind of decide towards the end. Um, but this will be our second to lack of exercise we're gonna do. Okay. If he's got more, we'll go upstairs. I like, we'll go upstairs, come on. So what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna do a pack deck, not pack deck, uh, we're gonna do a cable fly. And the thing is, is you've seen a lot of cable flies done, and a lot of people bring them down, use their shoulders. But what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to keep the chest out. And we're gonna try to work the chest. So you're gonna see me come out more into the front and up high. We're really gonna get a contraction out of the chest. Okay, finish this off, maybe just a couple sets, because I'm pretty pumped.
right, get behind me here. Oh, right. boys. Eight. Come on. All right. Nine. Yeah, good, yeah, yeah. I didn't even think I should have grabbed from the handles like No, this. no, you don't shoot. some nutrients into my muscles with my legs and uh, just stimulate the appetite 15 minutes after I train. Stairs and I'll increase to 30 twice a day and then I'll go to 45 minutes twice a day the last uh, eight weeks prior and I'll cut down to just eating fish whereas right now I'm not eating any fish yet. So the game plan for for this Olympia is to come in, you know, at my best size and conditioning to date, the to top 2009, so, which is gonna be really tough. I tried to do that last year, end up getting a little flatter than I wanted to be by depleting too much. Uh, struggled and prejudged and came back on Saturday night. Shows a judge 50-50 now, Friday to Saturday. So I was able to shut the door Saturday to a close finish with Phil Heath. Eight point difference. So this year, I'm shooting for straight first, once again, like 2009. And uh, try to even up all my second place finishes with five and five. Five wins, five second place. 10 years of top two in the world. And then it's on to the next. People are here. The cardio gets on. Yeah. So it's our chest and not cardio. 